Hello, my friends. Welcome again. So here we are in the application and we are in the dashboard now. And we add here the uh, username. Also, I added in the profile the username. We changed the name to username. But the problem I see is if I leave it blank and hit save, we expect an error, but we don't show anything. So like this, if I leave empty the email and we have the email required field, okay? I'm going to fix this now. So if I open the VS code, here is our application. And in the resources views uh, profile, here we have the update profile information and we add the username here, but uh, the problem is in the app actions and update user profile information. And here we have the name, so we need to change validator make the change name to username. And now we are good to go, but uh, yeah, I'm going to change this as well. And this one, username, save, go here and refresh. Okay, leave it blank now. Hit save and now the username field is required. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to add the user interface, which is the responsive bus on the HTML5 and Bootstrap 4. I'm going to copy what we had in the previous uh, project with Laravel and Vue.js. So go to the GitHub, GitHub Laravel and we can find the Laravel employee management repository. Okay, and here we, I want to search for the resources, views, layouts, and we have the main layout. And copy this one. Okay. Go here, resources and layouts. I'm going to create new file for the main dot blade dot php and pass that code here. We need the bootstrap for and jQuery and proper JS. So I'm going to go to the get bootstrap and here we go to the documentation, change this to version 4 and I'm going to copy all the JS files for with CDN and paste it here. Okay. Hit save and uh, I'm going to do is to go to the uh, views inside the app. So here, views, uh, components, and here we have the app layout and change this return view layouts dot main. Okay, save and uh, go to our, our application. And road country syntax, yeah, we have roads in the main blade. And where is the road, 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 yeah. Road for the country. Uh, in st uh, states, because we don't have now this roads, we are going to create later, but for now we need to remove. And users index as well, we don't have. 
and I think we are good to go. Save, uh, refresh. Yeah, here you are. Now we need the. If you go to the public, here CSS we have the sb admin dot unify the CSS. Go and copy this file. Select all, copy and go to the VS Code inside the public CSS, create new file and spadmin.min.js, oh, sorry, .css. Pass it here, that code, and hit save. And we need the JS file as well. Here in the public JS uh, SB admin, uh, copy this one and create a new file in the JS folder SB admin dash min that j dot js sorry and pass the code here hit save in the main we have the asset css that file and also the js file okay now if i refresh here yeah, we have the dashboard, we have the drop down working, and but if you see, we lost the content, okay? So, I mean, you go here and change this to what we had up and refresh, so we lost this content here, and that's it because. In the main blade uh, here, we don't need the yield content. We need to remove, and I'm going to add the slot here. Okay, we are working with uh, components, and if I refresh now, here we have the content, but it's not it's out of style because this is with uh, styling with styling CSS. The jet stream is coming with uh, Tailwind CSS by default. So if I go to the Tailwind CSS and go to the installation here, just to show you, eh, we're using Tailwind with CDN and copy this one go to the main and add it here save and refresh the application you see now we have the content here i'm going to remove because we don't need the Titan css we need to work with uh, boots bootstrap 4. okay now if you go to the dashboard here, here we have the X jet welcome, that's content. And we have the X slot name header. And if you go to the main, we don't have any we have the content, the navigation here, and we don't have any slot name here so I'm going to remove that from the dashboard and just leave the xchat welcome and also we need I'm going to remove this and add the h1 Welcome to the 
main dashboard save and refresh yeah welcome to the main dashboard so we add the user interface we can log out go and log in okay so we added the user interface now in the next video i'm going to fix this uh, user will be able to log in user email and password that's it by default and we have to fix this three fifth attempt will log the user for five minutes and by default so if i close this and log out by default the laravel is coming with five attempts so if i go and log in and uh, make a change here uh, one attempt two three four five and yeah and we have uh, four two nine too many requests okay but we need to make only three failed attempts and we'll lock the user for five minutes uh, the laravel is Locked for the one minute by default. So if we wait for the one minute and we have the ability to test again five to make again five requests. Okay, hope you enjoy this video and see friends, you friends in the next one. All the best. Hope you good weekend.